What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we're gonna go ahead and do a day in the life of an amateur vending machine owner. I'm pretty excited about this episode because I've never gone in depth of how I got into the vending machine business and how I make my money. And no, this is not the money that I earned as a stripper. I stopped doing that way before YouTube. <laughs> Let's go ahead and dive into my location. So I actually have two locations where I actually have vending services and those are actually family owned businesses like my dad's own businesses, right? At the first location, a chip stand. I also have a fridge and I have a gumball machine and those three babies right there, I always have to fill them up and everything. And the gumball machine, I've only filled it up like once in the past year. So it's not really that stressful. The soda fridge or for the people up north, the pop fridge, that one I have to fill it up like twice a week. And then the chip stand, I have to fill it up like once every two weeks. And it gets pretty hectic because everything expires really fast. Fast. So as you can see, we have everything in the back right now. Like we have sodas, we have chips, we have juices. So as you can see, I have no time and no space to be having kids. So that's why we're waiting till we're 40 to have kids. Anyway, let's go to the first location, baby. When I say this place was empty, I am not overreacting. It was so empty. Just like my messages and my DMs, but we got our money though. Let's go, baby. Let's go count it in the truck though. In five days that I paid no mind to this location, I literally picked up 13 bucks. That's freaking cool because you're making more than $1 a day. While I'm at school getting my education on, I'm making money, baby. Let's go. Now we're at the second location, and this location actually is a vending machine. <laughs> Well, the place isn't a vending machine, but this place has a vending machine that's mine. And you might be asking yourself, like, where the hell do you get your vending machines at? Three years ago, before COVID was ever a thing, I actually bought a vending machine on Marketplace. I got it for $700. Now you might find one for, like, even more. But at the same time, I think it's definitely worth it. This vending machine that I have right here, I personally bought it from Sam's Club. I'll go ahead and leave the link down in the description. So, like that, you can go ahead and purchase one if you're interested. I think Sam's Club is the way to go because they actually are the middle man in this situation. But at the same time, whenever you go on honey or you go like on any coupon website you can actually find coupons to sam's club for these damn vending machines this vending machine was originally three thousand dollars but i got it down at 2700 with the coupon so i think it's worth it and what i like about the process is that you actually have a warranty i don't know how long the warranty is with the manufacturer and also the manufacturer drives down and brings it to you they bring a pallet jack and bring it down from the truck for you and you don't even have to pay it's completely free i definitely used the service i thought it was pretty cool and i had to set it up i mean that's not really a problem all you need is a pocket knife and you start knifing away. Super dope and easy process through Sam's Club, honestly. Let's get down and see if we made any money and if we need any snacks in the damn machine. Okay, so believe it or not, right now I was actually gonna record this part outside. Right now we're like in an advisory of like Texas actually freezing over and it is hella windy. My mic broke. So all you were gonna hear is like wind just smacking the camera. Just to review on the vending machine, it was all full. There was enough snacks in there. I haven't checked it in two days and in two days I made $10. So that's not bad. You gotta compare it to the other place, which the location is smaller and that location doesn't get as busy and I made $13 in five days in the first location second location busier location I made $10 so that's not bad at all that's a good start for passive income that's a good start I know this video took another turn that you weren't expecting at first it started off as a day in the life of a vending machine owner now I'm just briefly telling you about the vending machine business which I'd rather tell you because I think it's pretty interesting about learning especially if you're looking because whenever I was looking I was sure it was like a short and sweet video like this that would just get to the point and tell you so that's pretty much what I'm doing in case you're kind of confused dearly I'm I'm sorry if you want to see more cinematic videos and more like vlog day in the life kind of things go ahead like subscribe and comment and turn those post notifications on because i post three days a week and you don't want to miss them let's go ahead and make this as simple as possible how much money can you be expecting to make it just depends what the traffic flow is like for example at the first shop that i went to that shop doesn't really have that much like flow of customers it's not as crazy as the second location but regardless like y'all saw in five days i made 13 dollars. that's not bad at all that's a good start and that's not even including what the gumball machine brings with that machine i don't really check to see how much it makes like frequently maybe every two months i go ahead and dump out the coins and i make maybe ten dollars which is not bad at all as well of course if you're trying to depend on that good luck it's better to focus on the bigger money makers like the fridge and the vending machine so now let's skip on over to 2020 around that time the first vending machine i bought for 700 dollars actually broke so most of the time it wasn't working all it did accept was coins it did not accept bills because the bill acceptor something happened i don't remember that's the only thing you have to watch out for when you're buying a used vending machine from either craigslist or facebook marketplace that year I was actually focused more on the revenue of the fridge and also the gumball machine because I was trying to rack up some more money for the new vending machine around that time I made like $800 in the whole year of 2020 so passive income baby let's go now let's move on over to 2021 if I'm not mistaken I think around June or July I bought the new vending machine and at that time I still had the momentum of just the fridge and also the gumball machine then when you bring in the vending machine I was sometimes making like in one week 25 to 30 dollars especially in the summertime because in the summertime a lot of customers a lot of employees they want to get water they want 
want Gatorade or they just want cold sodas in general. So in the summertime, you got to remember vending machine business always is booming. The kids are out of school, so the customers bring their kids with them to the tire shop and they're just spending a lot more money because they see the gumballs, they see the vending machine. To better end this video, I'm going to go ahead and give you a couple tips. So like any business, it's always good to upsell. So if you could get bigger ticket items in your vending machine to make more money, by all means, freaking do it because you're going to go ahead and accumulate more money faster. That's how I did it. What I do, I capitalize in getting Gatorade and also monsters. So I get the zero monster, the regular monster, blue Gatorade and red Gatorade. That's the secret sauce right there because instead of making a dollar for a can soda or a dollar for chips, you can actually make $3 on a monster or Gatorade. That price for those items are literally equivalent to selling three sodas or three chips or two chips and one soda. It doesn't matter what variation, but you catch my drift. The last gems I'm going to drop right here are going to be very simple. Go ahead and try to keep tabs on the revenue that you're making and try to look at those spikes on your business, like when to fill up your machines and everything like that. That's very important. So like that, you won't have the owners of the business or like the managers of the mall, wherever you end up going, they don't have to pester you and call you, Hey, you're out of this. You're out of that. You know what I mean? Cause that does get very annoying because I actually have the privilege of my cousin and my dad calling me, Hey, you're out of this. You're out of that. So it's good to start journaling and telling yourself, okay, I made $50 this week. And then I made $25 this week. And it's good to know because like that, you know how much inventory to buy and how much inventory to have on hand. And you also have to keep in mind that a lot of this stuff expires very fast. The chips being the ones that expire super fast. Moving on to the business spike. So having your revenue written down and kind of knowing the business spikes of everything is really, really good because now, you know, like for example, in the tire business, I know that it slows down in the winter and also in the holidays, but during the summer, it like goes high. Whenever income tax season is coming, it goes high too, because everybody just wants to go ahead and get their cars, new shoes. They want to get new wheels and everything like that. So that's whenever I have to have everything on hand because like that, I can make more money and have my machines just full with everything. For example, if you're going to be at a shopping mall, it's good to know that in the summer and also in the holidays, you have to fill everything up because during the holidays, everybody goes crazy. Everybody for sure is at the mall shopping till they drop. So that's always good to know. I personally feel like I did drop some knowledge on y'all today. But like I said earlier, if y'all do want to go ahead and watch more cinematic day in the live videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. So like that, you can go ahead and be informed on everything that I do. And like that, you can just keep up with my daily life. Anyway, thank you for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe and comment. We'll see you on the next video, guys. Peace.